my name is Wilfred. I'm the business development manager for the program, the Kenya Ali program. Um, so, and um, to those who are our uh, new people here, um, those who have joined us here as new guests, they, they, they are not part of the program. Uh, the program essentially takes students, uh, brings students to the U.S. to pursue their masters, and that's why we have this big community of uh, students who are part of the program, who are pursuing their masters uh, in different programs. I was just talking to my friends here, my new friends here, and uh, I was jokingly telling them that. Uh, if it weren't for the program, maybe I will be back in the village chasing baboons. <laughs> so it's nice to be back again. This is this is my third time in uh, in uh, Grand Rapids. I think this is the place that I've traveled the most out of all the schools that we have in the program. This is the this is the place that I find myself coming time after time because of many engagements that we have with the uh, students here. And it's an incredible thing to be back here again as I celebrate the journey of uh, Brad and the journey of Alex. You know, I can give their stories if they allow me to from where they started. I don't know if they'll be free with that. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> When 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 Brian joined the program, he wasn't so much. He, had, he hadn't really been a deliberate initiative into the program. I remember there are so many times uh, we used to have wars with him. We fight a lot with him. Uh, there is one time uh, we were supposed to meet and we didn't attend the meeting. It was about an issue to do with accommodation. He didn't attend the meeting. <laughs> At the time I'm calling him, he's like, he knows like Romy Matatus. <laughs> so much noise. <laughs> I don't know if he has ever told you, he was working uh, as an intern in KRA. Maybe getting less than 200 US dollars per month, right? <laughs> One hundred and ten dollars a month. One hundred and ten dollars a month. So, Brian was actually the first person to get admission into cyber security course at the school. The first person, but it was there were so many issues around that, that time because. Uh, Sometimes you would submit something, it's, it's not in the shape that it's required to be. And then I will just return it back to him and tell him, just repeat this, man. You know, until now, later he got animation to the school. And we were like, this was the first animation in cyber security. And we were like, maybe we can try this, this program for other students come to the school and that's how we came to now apply so many initially data science was was the place where most of the students were applying to because that's that's why most of the students who came initially around the same time they came for data science so it's been a journey for him and uh, seeing him achieve the feat that he has achieved to get a full four point two GPA it's not a mean thing. I got a drink and nine and I was on top of the world. <laughs> but it's been excellent because if someone gets a 4.0, there's nothing other than a 4.0. There's nothing beyond that. It's a 4.0. There's no no other grading apart from that. So man, I'm really proud of you. Uh, I know. Uh, there's a journey ahead, and you are up to the task. Nelson Mandela said that um, when you claim one big hill, you find so many others to climb. I know there are so many others, 
Sometimes you get out of school and you get home and get into your very warm comfort zone. And then you realize the corporate world there is waiting for you. But now, when you are in the corporate world, you are not waiting for you. But now, you should not be scared of that because you are well prepared for what is ahead of you. So, congrats. What is, it's, it's very um, amazing to see you get to this level. You are watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, presented to you by Upstech America. Upstech America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstechamerica.com. Upstech America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. And Alex too. Alex, I think, came uh, around. Alex, <clears throat> Alex joined the program through one of the students who later came after Alex. The student is at Illinois State University. I don't have to mention his name. So Alex came, courtesy of that uh, student, who was actually among the first students to be in, in the program. So Alex, the time they were coming to the US, you know, that time there were no many students who were in the program coming to the US. And we used to organize events for them in Florida. We used to have events for students in Florida that time. So they would come, we just put them in a very nice uh, hotel somewhere in Florida. They spent some time there with some. There's another student, uh, she's not here. Where is Janet? She's not here. <laughs> So, so Janet was also part of the team. <laughs> so Janet was also part of the team. Her name is Jay. Oh, where is Jay? Because I'm trying to avoid legal proceedings here. <laughs> so, so, so Alex, 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 and the team came to Florida, and uh, they had a very nice time there. But now we couldn't even take more students to Florida because the program was was growing. In a single time we could have like 30 students coming to the US. So it was very difficult to bring them to Florida. So I've been able to see his journey and his dedication. And I think it, it is the, the journey that has brought him to this far. Uh, getting to achieve, uh, to, to get his master's in data science. Data science, by the way, is not an easy course. I know that. It's very tough. And it's incredible achievement is, is a challenge to all of us that at least, as long as you put in the work, as long as you don't give up, uh, the future is brilliant for, for us. So Alex, we wish you all the best. I was very happy to find out you have also gotten uh, some internships um, before even uh, uh, the school was over in, in your second last semester, right? Last semester. Last semester. Which is incredible. And I really wish you all the best in, uh, in the next part of the journey, the next phase of the journey. I know the challenges that are there, you'll be able to tackle them uh, adequately. So this is my message to every person. This is my message to everyone. Uh, because I think there's, there's that, that um, promise that has been there. The American, the pursuit of the American dream. She wants that. And the pursuit of the American dream is, through the program is, you come to the U.S., do your master's, get the skills, and then the program assists you in a job transition. That is getting a job actually in the most competitive fields that we have today, like robotic process automation and cyber security and other areas. And I think there are so many of us who have been asking so many questions on whether this thing is real. There are so many of us who sometimes 
when you go back to your place alone, you start asking, is it real that these guys will really get us jobs? You know, that's the question that rings in the minds of most of us. But we have a case, we have so many cases, we have not so many cases, we have some of the cases that we can we can learn from. As long as you do what you are supposed to do, the program is there to support you. We have uh, JOSPAT. JOSPAT actually completed his, his RPA like in 2022. And I'm happy he has got a job that is actually going to propel him to earning a lot of money in the next few months or so. So that is the trajectory that we want every person to be in so that you can be able to shape your, yourself, you shape your journey and transform our society back home. There are so many people who look at the task as the only hope that we have to bring change. So let's ensure that we keep that and do the best we can. So that's my message. And the uh, message from the program, the Kenya Lift program, uh, from our director Bob and uh, DMK, um, I really want to pass their greeting to every person. And just know that we are there to support you. We may have some issues here and there, but this is a family. That's what happens sometimes. But we have to stick together if we want to be successful in this in this world, in this, in this America. I'm so happy that we have some some students who are not even part of the uh, last event that we had. And this is the, the kind of attitude that we want so that we can be able to bring every person together. So I really wish every person all the best. I'm still around tomorrow, so I think I'll be able to visit some of you and we interact at length. Thank you. Thank you. You have been watching Success with Bomwiti Show, brought to you by Upstech America. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mwiti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.